So here we are, the Firefight two-player starter set. Brief look of what we've got. Rule book, force lists, counters required, a huge, enormous commando marauder army, and an elite fighting force of the enforcers. A nice variety of different models we'll look at more soon. And command dice and your very, of course, interesting D8s. So that's the contents. So here we are, the box opening moment. We've had a brief look. Don't forget your mantic points on the top. We start collecting cool free things like Ronnie the Bard and other such assorted wonderfulness. There's some great um, Firefight Dead Zone figures on there from Kickstarter's past. And they were not available anywhere else. And then a great big box. There's not a lot of air being shipped in this. You have got tons and tons of plastic sprues and tons and tons more plastic sprues and even more. And I've got a bag of BBC, that I mean, and dice. Absolute screamingly good value for money. When we say war game, you get an army to fight war games with. Not couple of models and uh, you'll see that close in a minute just how beautiful they are right let's start at the bottom of the box and work our way up one of the things we've done here is your firefight getting started book and this is before you dive into this let's have a little overview let's see what we're looking at and yeah, we've done it. You spoke, we listened. Here you are, here's how we assemble. Some of these sprues, the parts look quite similar. They're actually labelled up, they go together in lots of poseable ways. The stats you need to get playing. You've got your enforcers, you've got your marauders. With a couple of options in there, so that you can just get your armies out, get playing. You don't need to worry too much about what's in this 100 page rule book. You're up and off you go. Begin a scenario. Let me get playing, basic setup zones, kill zone, quick reference guide. So, you know, watch the how to play video, take this out, glue a couple of models together, you're playing. So, uh, you can see all beautifully laid out, all nicely labelled, and all there. To get you gaming as quickly as possible. Next we're going to go on to the books. Two books, two I hear you say, why did you want to do one? Well, we did that with, um, with some of them, and the problem is this baby pretty much is going to be valid for the next four years. You know, this is the rule book, there's the rules, there might be some FAQs, there might be a few new little bits and bobs here and there, but pretty much that is your War Games book. These are your army lists. These change, these expand, new releases come out. We add new armies on and so on and so forth. And we find that that needs updating a lot more often than that. So we'd have a chapter approved. But then you're carrying chapter approved after chapter approved. And we're getting around to the point where actually we'll just update this book every couple of years. And therefore you're staying valid and current without too much problem. Um, before we dive into the books individually, you've got all the counters you need to play. So, wound counters, activations, it's a I go, you go, I go, you go. You need to mark your squads as you're doing that. And then some of the, um, for example, this is smoke and uh, rats firing or poison gas. So, those types of things, so you can put all your markers on. Everything you need to play, all right there, ready and available. So, let's delve a little deeper into the books. Now we know why we have two. Let's look at the rule book. Well... First even new book smell, ooh, lovely. Um, beautifully laid out. One of the charms is, because we're coming back to this, we've been doing Dead Zone for a while, we've done Warpath, we've got a range of plastics. We've not only got all that you'd expect from, but oh my goodness, we've got a polished system, lovely photography, lots of art throughout, everything explained. We've been doing this for a few years now, so we know how to put a good rule book together. Um, all clear buildings, vehicles, all beautiful art, keywords, 
and we love the keywords because it keeps it super straightforward once you've learned them again very very straightforward salt reactions what do you do when the salt comes in and then you're into your missions lots and lots of missions and then the galactic the gcps starting to get a lovely big background section there's a nice map and away we go the council of seven good guys honest um, making decisions that need to be made i think is the way to put it so lovely bit more depth and background more art all the way through And then, like we were talking about, we've, we've been at this sci-fi for a while and we've learnt a lot, made a few mistakes, but I think those mistakes are a long time in the past. And what you're going to be looking at here is lots of armies. And I don't think there's anyone out there that's got this many armies, you know, right from day one, right from the get-go. Um, the Asterians, why would they go down and fight when they can send droids? Command. Nice colour shot, painting guides, explanations of what everything is. It's real clear. Nice bit of art. Enforcers. Clicking through, each one's laid out. The way you build your armies up. All very familiar with that as war gamers. There's the enforcers section. Forge fathers. Couldn't say nothing. Other than these uh, space dwarves have been around for quite some time. And quite, quite, quite. Best, most beautiful dwarves. As soon as I have a dwarf fetish, I think I'm highly in a position to talk about such things. Um, the best sci fi dwarves on the market. Um, lovely kits, beautiful stuff. They've got their tank down there, they've got ships, obviously. Everyone's getting cool, heavily armed. Uh, GCPS, beautiful hard plastic. Humans in space, lightly armoured, as you'd expect. They've got their ship, drop ship there. Um, and then into the Marauders, brand new plastics. More on that soon. So excited about that. And then finalising out into uh, Rats in Space and the Plague. So lots of armies, lots of beautiful army lists for rats. Tons of choice. Whatever you want, it's there. And there's not one or two sprues and one or two plastic kits. There's lots of stuff for every army there. Command dice, one of the things that makes firefight just a little bit more fun, a bit more random is you've got your command dice, you roll these out, you probably won't get that many in any given go, but these give you boosters and bumps, the higher you roll, the more you get of your, um, so nothing, one, two, to use your special, special powers, cool new funky green dice which always has a success on it and some of them lots of successes or super successes. So that just gives you that little bit that some days you sometimes you roll well with those and you've got that little extra kick and other times it doesn't go for you and you're slightly limited. D8s, we love D8s, just gives a whole lot more uh, cool things between two, three, four, five, six and seven. So you've just got that little bit of subtlety between the weapons and between the strengths and the toughnesses. You can open up you know, a couple of point gap. It's big, it's not massive, four point gap. You know, a lot, a lot more successes than than the other. So, really, we love the D8s in this sci-fi. We think it shows that the different weapons and the different uh, races have different skills, and they can we can min-max just a little bit more than you can with D6s. So we're loving that. So, let's have a little look at the plastics. Let's see the armies that we've got. Armies, you say, in a starter game? Yeah, really. So what have we got for the enforcers? I will read it out. Twenty enforcers and five peacekeepers. And two jet bikes. When we say 20 enforcers, you're not just talking about your average um, Joe. They can be built up in a number of ways. They've got the machine guns or the hand weapon and pistol. So you've got close assault and distance plus special weapon sprues all in there. Two of the beautiful, gorgeous, sexy and very fast um, jet bikes. So you give you some speed, give you some idea of zipping stuff around the battlefield. And then the super heavy walking tanks that are the peacekeepers. Got the big shield option, got the special weapon options, got the two-handed gun weapons and also close assault. So lots of everything there for your peacekeepers. And then we have the marauders. 40 
marauders and four ripper suits. 40 marauders, and I'm going to open one of these bags up because this is brand new. Um, the sprues are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. You're going to get 10 marauder commandos. And as we know, the marauders in our game are not some thick, idiot, savage things. They are big, tough commandos. They know what they're doing. They used to work for the GCPS and then realised they could earn more money by working for themselves. Um, and then there's also the York faction that thinks don't bother with humanity let's just go straight to yeah, the uh, take over the whole damn place so 10 bodies lots of movement in those bodies and then you've got the pistols up there you've got uh, shredders all manner of weapon options a bit of an axe and let's look at this you've got 13 heads 13 so by the time you've combined, you've added your weapons, your weapon options, and again, they've got all the different ones here. Closer, assault, shooty. You've just got infinite choices that you're going to be able to build out of these. Uh, and you've got 40 of them. So you get those glued together and stuck together, and you're going to be up and halfway. A couple of vehicles, a couple of big bits, and you're done. You've also got the ripper suits. I'm not going to break this apart, but these... Ripper suits, you've got four of those. They are, you know, walking tanks, essentially, to give you some heavy firepower, to give you some backup and some spine across your army there. So, so you'll be playing with what you've got. You know, you start with 10, um, start with a few of those, and then build up from your starter set until you've got all this glued together, and then deciding how you want to scale your army. I want it to be fast, I want it to be vehicles, I want some artillery. You can go from there. Add what you need. Everything you need is in this box. Here we go. I hope you've enjoyed it. There is tons, well not quite tons, but certainly kilos and kilos in, 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 uh, in new money of plastics, books, games, dice, and everything you need to start enjoying firefights. I hope you're enjoying it.